the one you looking for the messiah is here Shalom praise the lord gloria to dios as you know there are a lot of things going on around the world especially with ukraine and russia and there is a lot of a uh, message is coming out but remember the freedom do not come free freedom is cost a lot of money and a lot of lives and that's what is going on right now and there is always a uh, uh, coin have uh, two sides of coin and there is a two stories on both the side we do not know exactly what's going on if it the satan is cast out the satan or it is a good versus evil at this point but according to everybody it is gog and magog but remember the gog and magog is the war when israel is surrounded but this is this could be the beginning of the gag and magag because what's going on right now is you know you can hear that right now putin is down because of all these sanctions against him and uh, uh the ukrainian people are resisting him and all those news you are here we really don't know the truth because uh, uh, putin is not even he's not dumb he's also smart and he has also calculated all this thing but the longer it stays the more trouble is coming for everybody no doubt and this four days is already long enough wise listen foolish despise one wise man can overcome the war of weapons but one foolish man can destroy everything and we don't know who's fool right now at this point is ukrainian president is fool or russian president is fool because the one wise man can come on the table when he knows that he cannot defeat the strong army he should come from the beginning come on the table and make a deal doesn't matter remember also bible says love your neighbor as you love yourself now ukrainians are neighbor to russia and russia is neighbor to ukraine of course but remember what happened is russia already came to your border you didn't go to you, their border right now they are on your border so obviously there will be a lot of damage and we don't know yet what exactly will happen because he is prepared he is prepared he knew what the other country will do he's been doing this one for 20 years he is trying to make this thing happen for long time so he is prepared doesn't matter what sanction we put and he is going to use his army and nuclear war had so whole world will know that he is not just sitting over there and have not calculated all those things prior to this war now i know today they are getting together and i believe that it's not going to happen because uh it is already started he is not going to back off if he is going to back off then he knows that he has to lose everything because west is already put the sanction against him and obviously he is not going to like that and he is going to do everything in his power and he will tell his people that what they are doing uh is against us for long time and this is not new so i have to jump in and that's what is going on right now now uh, all these things i had told you before that war is coming i told you in december something big is coming i told you again in january that you have no idea what's coming 
And right now, Ukrainian people are devastated. They all are running from their country. Their uh, building, uh, buildings are torn apart. Uh, uh, people are crying right now. People are suffering right now. Those little children are suffering. And again, you know, all this thing is written because it is a war against good and evil. And eventually we will overcome. Eventually the, the good will prevail. Eventually you know that God controls all those souls. So uh, my prayer, my prayer goes to the Ukrainian people and Russian army that they are dying right now and suffering um, and that, that God will uh, bring the peace over there and everything come down. Uh, that's all I can pray for right now. I mean, there's not too much I can do uh, because this is, again, the uh, spiritual war that you all need to understand. It's been written 5,000 years ago uh, in this world, and, and that's what's going to happen. So be strong and, 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 and wait and see what God has for you. Now, again and again, I tell you that God have a two plan, A plan and B plan. I have so many Christians, uh, uh, guys are writing. Now, you know, they're writing and they, they, they're writing, which is, doesn't make any sense. And some of them asking me questions also, and, uh, and I always tell them to read and ask God to give you more revelations. Now, uh, one side is uh, uh, Jewish people not going to believe uh, that Jesus is the Lord uh, or Jesus came uh, for them. And the other side, the Christians uh, won't accept what is written in the Old Testament about what they are waiting for. They are waiting for Lord Jesus Christ, and he said he will come. He will come in the sky. In the other side, the, 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 the Jewish people believe their Moshiach will come, their king will come, and uh, he is the one get them uh, redemption, and he is the one build the temple, and he is the one uh, 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 bring all people together. Now, let me go through the Jewish side of the version about the Old Testament. Uh, in the beginning, God promised Jacob that the Shiloh will come and gathering of the all the people, which is all the nations, just like Isaiah said that my, my, uh, my house uh, will call the prayer for the, all the nations. So the, the temple will be built for the, all the nations. The second one comes, the Balaam and Balak, where Balaam, uh, Balak uh, uh, prophesied that he see, he see, Balaam prophesied that he see somebody, but not right now, in later. And so there is another one over there. And then comes, if you go to Daniel chapter, that God promised that Messiah will come, Moshiach will come. Now, uh, and then in Zechariah, he said that I will be there. I will be dwell in Jerusalem. In Zechariah, I will be with you. He said, I will be with you. And then you will know that God has sent me. Now, you go furthermore, Isaiah uh, and Ezekiel, uh, it says the King David will come, my servant will come. Actually, he's not telling that King David will come because God promised King David his son will come. One of his son from his flesh, from his loin, uh, from his blood and flesh. Not from nowhere, his branch. Remember the branch, which is from the stump. He is the stump. Remember, and, and, and is Jesse from his father. So the thing is, he is coming. The Moshiach is coming for them because they always wanted 
king. They do not want to see God face to face. But God have a plan for all the nations to save when and for the Christians, you all need to understand that their Moshiach is coming. No matter what you all think, their Moshiach is coming first and build the temple and then all those things that you are expecting will happen. Now, for the Christians, let me tell you, he said, this is what he said, I am he, I am the way, the truth, and life. I am the light of the world. I am the bread of life. I am, he started that I was exist before Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He said, I and my father is one. If you are in me, I'm in my father, we all in together. So all those things, he said, which is not written in Old Testament. Remember, because their king has to come. Their king has to come. And now, yes, you are waiting for your Messiah. He will come from above when the last trumpet will be blown. Remember, and when the two prophets will die and rose again. Let's go through this. He said, I am the only one can go up and down. Are you agree with me? He said, I am the one came from above. Are you agree with me? If the word says, and you do not have no choice, you have uh, to agree with those kind of word. And if he is the one, only one can go up. And if you think that he is the one, die and rose again, and the word says that one in the New Testament, then he is the one sitting up there, and he is the one going to come down. But how he's going to come down, and how he's going to go up, it's very simple if you understand with me. The two prophets that die and rose again, one of them has to be him. Because he said he is the only one came from above. Like if you remember uh, Matthew, Mark and Luke uh, uh, talk about that uh, born of the virgin. And when the John the Baptist, he said, I saw the spirit rest upon him like a dove. Now remember, in Daniel chapter, the Son of Man is resting upon the Ancient One, not the spirit like thou. So Jesus was Son of Man. He said, I was Son of Man. He is the born of the Virgin. So he was already down over here. The son of man was down over here, born of the virgin, and he went up there. So he has to come down as rest upon Daniel or rest upon the ancient one as God promised in the Daniel chapter. So he is the one right now down over here, and out of those two prophets, one of them is him, and he is the one only can go up and down, so he is the one, one of them will go up. Now, it's very easy to understand, so if you are a Christian, sending me all these nonsense questions, First, understand you are not going nowhere. There is no rapture for you because you haven't seen the Jesus Christ. If he's going to come from above, then the whole world will see. That's the God plan. The God plan is the whole world will see. So the thing is, he say that when, when you see the lightning in the east and see in the west, it's just like that, that the whole world will see when he will come from above. But before that, the temple has to be built. The before that, their king has to come. Before that, the gathering of the, all the Jewish people at the Jerusalem. Before that, the... the the war will happen. All those things has to have, has to happen. And it is going on right now. What you're seeing right now is just a beginning. And the 
This is, you cannot call beginning. It's already started big because it is a huge big that there are 150,000 troops are behind uh, right now there at the Ukraine border or they are in Ukraine. Now, remember, the Bible talk about all those things that you make a deal when you see the strong man is coming against you. And Ukrainian president should have done it. He should have done it long time ago. He shouldn't be listening to other people because uh, remember, other people are going to pump you up for nothing. When you know that you're going to suffer and your people are going to suffer, you should have made the agreement before all these things started because he is not going to stop and he's not going to let his army down. So I'm sorry, but all this peace agreement is not going to work. He is going to go furthermore because we are very close. So, uh, of course, it says that it's going to stop after a while, but it will be damaged the entire Ukraine. And then uh, we don't know what else he's going to do. But all these things are written, and that's why I'm telling Christian people to listen to me. I am not the Jesus Christ. I am the Daniel from the dead, that Son of Man is rest upon me, and through me the temple will be built, that through me the gathering of the, all the people. Now all the Jewish people listen to me. I don't care what your rabbi said and what other people said. I am here and I am the only one can build the temple. If you want to see the temple, I am the only one can build the temple. I have no idea what's going on, who are in control, but I have a feeling that Nothing is going to work. I think so. I'm going to come over there miraculously. And that's the only way you all will know who I am. I am coming and I'm coming very soon. This is, this is just beginning of the end. I am the end time. I told you God has sent me to you to make you understand. They cannot understand. But you can understand that you know that son of man will rest upon the ancient one. And the ancient one, I told you that somebody was born before and promised to come back. And that's only Daniel, if you read the Daniel chapter. So there is a plan and B plan. I'm always telling you that God have a plan to save the whole world. If you understand the Christians, Jews and Muslim Christians, and Muslim believe in Jesus is coming. Now, Jesus was Jew as a Jew. People know that he was Jew, no doubt. They know that he was Jewish. But they will know on right time. But before that, God has promised all these things will happen. Now, word cannot be changed. Word cannot be changed. All these words are written will happen. You will see the God glory in Jerusalem when his house will be built and his dwelling place will be in Jerusalem. And when you see the God glory come from above, all these things has to happen before your Messiah come. Their Messiah has to come. Their Messiah is like a Moses. When the Moses took them to the promised land, the God promised him that you will take them to the promised land. Remember, he couldn't make it either. He couldn't make it. And just like that, lot of Jewish people not going to make it. It's not going to make it because even they see all these things, they're still not going to believe. Right now, I've been telling them for two and a half years, not even single righteous rabbi realize that who this guy is talking about all the time. And he has, they haven't come to me. So just think when I will be on my throne, what I'm going to do to them? You think so they will be on my team? No, I'm not going to. I'm going to find some righteous guy. 
and God will send me. But remember, they are not going to be part of my team because what they're doing is, is just let the whole world suffer where we can start the building the temple. And now listen, it's not going to be easy for me. I've been telling you guys, oh, I'm a king. I'm going to be the king. I don't know what's, how to act you want over there. When you will make me a king or Moshiach, I have no idea. I have no idea what will happen. But remember, I have that faith. By faith, I am going forward because I know that battle is not mine. Battle is his and he is going to do all the things, not me. And I will be on my throne. He will put on my throne because that's his promise that he gave it to my forefather that I will bring one of your son and he will be on my throne forever and ever. If he do anything wrong, I will punish him, but I will not take the favor from him ever and ever and ever. That's who I am. And you can... Right now, go ahead and look. The people, now, they never have the book of the Moshiach, but yes, they have on the YouTube some fools. They call themselves a Jesus Christ. Uh, some fool, they call them, a, he is the Messiah. Uh, but they're not coming out. He said, one of the guys just called me. And he said, you're not Messiah, I am the Messiah. 30 years ago, uh, uh, Kadori confirmed that I am the Messiah. I said, okay, then why don't you go and bring the Kadori back? And he said, well, he died. I said, so you are Messiah, go get him. What else I can say? Because they are really do not get it. They think they are Jesus Christ. I am not the Jesus Christ. I am Daniel from the dead. That's what. And the son of King David, the Shiloh, the son of man, a branch. That's who I am, the end time anointed one. This generation will not pass seeing the Moshiach first. And then they will see the God glory. It will happen. Get ready. Get ready, you all Israeli people. Listen to me. God has sent me to you. Send me to you. Nobody else, even though I am born and raised in Hindu family. God somehow put me into a Torah uh, and reveal me that I am the one son of King David. Now, uh, again and again and again, I'm telling you, I've been to New York, Kabad House several times to let them know who I am. And they are not getting, they believe that their, uh, their Moshiach is one of their rabbi passed away and he's coming back. He is not coming back. You know, I'm telling you boldly, you need to understand he's not coming back because God has sent me to you. You all don't know him. I know him. I came from him. He has sent me to you. Uh, as they believe by faith, I want you to believe me by faith. I am not exalting myself. Only reason I'm telling you to believe me by faith so we can start building the temple. Let's whole world see the God glory. The more we wait, the more suffering is coming. You see what happens. What happening right now? If we would have started building the temple last year, or 5779 when I came over there, just think, the things would have been a lot different. But again, it's a God will. And again, how we act. How we act and how we think about all those things. I have a lot of things to tell you. Like I told you that that uh, when, uh, only way he can come down when I will go up there. I have to go up there to him to come down again because that's what is written in the New Testament. He cannot come down unless I go up there because when 
He came, he took my spirit, and he left me the son of man's spirit on me. Remember, the son of man came in the cloud as the Daniel chapter. As my vision continued that night, I saw someone look like man coming with the cloud of heaven, and he approached the ancient one, and he led him into his presence. So when he came and he rest upon me, that's what you call that he led me into his presence. And that's why I always call myself, I am the ancient one. I am the Shiloh. I am the son of man. I am the branch. I am the anointed one. I am your Moshe. I am the one to take you home. I am the builder temple. And I am the give you the redemption. There is no other way. There is no other way. And when he chose you, he finished the task. He finished the work that he has given you. And I am not giving it up. Again, I told you. I told you on my previous video, unless the God of Jew is liar, this thing is not going to happen. But everything is written on this thing is 100% correct because when the Son of Man came upon me and when they gave me the Torah and when I read the Daniel chapter, I see everything that God has revealed me, it's over there. It's over there. Now again, I, uh, the Gag and Magag, I told you when the Israel will be surrounded. It's all about Israel. It's all about Jerusalem. Right now, we are not surrounded by this. And that's why I told you the Gog and Magog is 1,000 years from now. But by the Ezekiel uh, 37 and 38, the, the, uh, way the, the, way the bones, dry bones, and also in 38 about the war, about the Gog, uh, that's what if we can talk about maybe there is the one right now is 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 just cooking it's just started but the main thing will come after the 1000 years of millennium where he will be because they all will be given some time that's what the word says and they will be prepared but the right now this Gog and Magog will Obviously bring the Moshiach, obviously bring the temple, obviously bring all the people together. There is the God plan that you all will see how people are suffering over there and a lot of people will come to uh, God and pray uh, that they all get the redemptions. And that's why... I've been telling you again and again and again, let's start building the temple. Let's come to me. Uh, let's talk about this uh, and, uh, and start building temple uh, before April, before May. Uh, it has to be done. It has to be done. The month of uh, Aviv, uh, I guess April, the Passover month, uh, everything start most of the time. The King David in the uh, first king, uh, he start building on that month, the second temple. So all those things, I believe, is going to start. How is going to start? I am not sure. If this war will go furthermore, another week, uh, definitely... Something big is going to happen, and it's it's coming to USA. I told you, it's coming to USA. I have seen the planes and the wars happening in America that have never happened before. So I don't know. Uh, let's wait and see what happens in coming month. But pray that that something good happen, and we can start building the temple. Uh, let. Everybody see the God glory. So whole world will know that Torah is 100% right. Now, uh, I've been explaining to you a lot of things time after time with by the word. And I haven't got one righteous man to call me and say that, of course, it's not that 
people don't believe me. There are ordinary people, they believe me, even though they don't know about the word too much. But the people who knows the word, those God talk about in Zechariah 70, Rabbi is the righteous one. I'm not saying there is not, I am the only righteous man that God have choose me. No, God have choose those 70 uh, men that in Zechariah he's talking about those rabbi and those are probably here. I don't know. He didn't promise. He said that he, their name will be in the scroll forever and ever. But the thing is, God made a lot of people righteous and they will, they, they knows that Moshiach is here on the earth and Moshiach is the one is doing it. Remember, there is another rabbi I think there is a Messianic Jew, a Christian and Jew mix. And he said the first, the Messiah will be reveal himself. God will reveal him. And then he will be uh, hidden for a while uh, till he realize that he is the one, that he is the Moshiach. And then he will reveal again. And that's exactly what happened in when I knew that who I am in uh, uh, what, uh, 2001, I mean 1999, and in 2001, I put 50 billboard and I said, I am the ancient one. I am the ancient one. I reveal myself, but I didn't know that what else is coming. So then, of course, I was in both of them, started with the New Testament, or Old Testament, and then end up in the New Testament. And that time I know that I'm the ancient one. And then I see that they do not understand, the Christian do not understand what I said. And nobody came from the Judaism or Muslim. I have no idea where I was going. And I stay on the word all these years. And finally, he revealed me exactly, he showed me everything that who I am. And that's why I call myself all those titles, all the titles that Jesus don't have, I have. Plus, you can add those titles into me because spirit of the Lord is raised upon me. And he is the one going to do all the work, not me. And so then, when I realized in 5779, God told me, go to Jerusalem. That time I realized who I am. And exactly, I, even though I knew all those things, but I realized that I am the son of God. That he said that I will be his, he will be my father and I will be his son. That's who I am. That's who I am. And that's why I came to Jerusalem. That's why I stay on the donkey. The donkey, I just didn't uh, put, got myself and just say, let me show it to everybody. No. Whatever I listen in the spirit, whatever I listen at the night, with whatever I see in the vision, I put next day and that's what I did I he told me to find the donkey and sit down on the donkey for a few days and I got the donkey and I was all over I was all over Jerusalem people people see me all those rabbis see me whatever you all call them all the because they're all wearing the black clothes and big beard and if you ask anybody they all say Oh, I'm rabbi, I'm rabbi, I'm a rabbi. Everybody's rabbi over there. So they all know that I came. They all know I told them who I am. They all see me on the donkey. And then I came back. I came back to United States and I start making, I went to one of the rabbi over here and I told him. And he said, well, well, uh, yeah, yeah. Why don't you make your videos? And that's how I start making my videos. And today I see millions of people are watching and they already watch and they knows what I am 
talking about. But the one who I came for, they are the one is not getting. The one whom God sent me for, they are the one is not getting yet. They want to wait till more destruction come. They want to wait till more people die. They want to see, they don't want their grandparent and grandmother to see their Moshiach. That's what they are up to. Again, I told you, there is always synagogues of Satan. Now, there is another rabbi or pastor talk about it and he said, uh, well, uh, they probably already know who's the Moshiach is and they are hiding for a while. Uh, but I, t I have the answer for you. No, they, they're not hiding. They don't know. They, they may know who I am, but because they should know, because I had interview with CIA in... 2001 and I told them everything who I am and what I am so it is possibility that they already know who I am but they just want to wait and see what's going on but they exactly knows who I am because they took my interview for one hour and ask me all the questions and I told them my testimony what happened and when they take your interview and write it down everything they know exactly because they also know the word there are so many scholars in FBI CIA they study all these things and and they knows what exactly it is and that's who I am. So they may know, but they're just waiting. But on, on the other side, like I said, there is a synagogue of Satan is everywhere and they will try to block me. Uh, also, uh, uh, the politician try to block me. And But God's plan has to be fulfilled. He promised me who I am and it will happen. I am not giving in up. I am coming and you all get ready because it will happen and it will happen very soon. As everybody is predicting that after the Ukrainian and Russian war, maybe they, maybe they will put the Moshiach. And I don't believe they will put the wrong Moshiach because God has promised me to build the temple. So temple has to be built no matter what happened. All those things uh, later on may happen, but the temple will be built through me. And then whatever the New Testament talk about will happen, but the temple has to be built so all the world can see. There is the promise that God have told me to build the temple, that I will build the temple and it will be happened through me because his presence has to be in Jerusalem as he talk about in Zechariah. And remember also in Zechariah says before the temple will be built there won't be no jobs and there won't be no food. All those things are coming. You can see right now in Ukraine. Now it is like a contagious. It's going to spread. It's just like a COVID, COVID-19, how it spread all over the world. Now this is another plague. This is another plague. Now Russia is already uh, bombarded by nuclear war. When you put the sanction against him, when you put the shift uh, to stop the payments and and uh, hurting their economy system, it's like you drop the nuclear warhead on Russia. What do you think they're going to do? They're going to come after us. They're going to come after European country. They're going to go everywhere they can and destroy the things it's built. Remember I told you in the beginning, we don't know who's fool right now. Is a Ukrainian or Russian? 
Again, Russia already calculated all these things. Uh, nobody just go to the war without calculating. And you know Putin is in the power for years and years and years. And he's still strong. He's one of the beast, as you know, the uh, four beasts of the, of the world. One is, of course, Russia, China, USA, and in Asian countries, if you count, India. I don't know which one is the fourth one, but what I see, the four beasts of the world is, that's what I see. So... They all are coming, and, and it's all contagious, and it's going to start everywhere, and it's going to spread very fast. In a blinking of an eyes, you all will see all these things will happen in this generation. Things going to change. The world's going to change. Come to God. Pray, repent. Pray, repent. Come to Him. Ask for forgiveness. Ask for forgiveness and he will forgive you. Do right thing. He says in the end time, do right thing. To all those rabbi, all those pastors, they are after money. Your money will be disappear in a second front of your eyes. That's what's going to happen before the rebuilding of the temple. You all will be destroyed. Your money will be plundered front of your eyes. So do right thing. Change the way you are living. The change the way. Tell the truth. Tell the truth to your congregation. I've been telling you what is the truth. The truth is your Moshiach is here. The truth, don't tell them I am not. Because I am the one you all going to see sooner or later. How? I still don't know. But your God is not liar. My father is not liar. He will accomplish whatever it been talk about in this world. I am blessed one. I don't know. God have choose me. And if you don't choose me one, I don't care because I have seen his glory. I've been blessed. I have nothing to be worried. But I still want that you all understand me. Please listen to me. And let's start building the temple. Give me a call. I am not begging you guys. I do not have to beg you. I don't know how many times Moses must have told you that God has sent me. And I have no idea. Maybe I have to do it again and again and again till you all understand. So God bless you. Thank you. And we'll see you again next week.